The third time was the charm. As we told you earlier in the show, the Powell Panthers won the first state championship in program history. Let's take a look at how they got it done in the second half. Powell looking for the program's first state title tonight against Page. Panthers led 21-20 at the half. Pick it up late third quarter, now 28-20. Jordan Potts finding our Darius Redman on the 25-yard scoring strike. That made it 35-20. Fourth quarter, now 35-27. And Potts strikes again. A big night for the week one Friday Frenzy Player of the Week, hitting Aiden Green on this one. That made it 42 27. Now things got dicey late in this game. Page hit pay dirt to make it a one score game. They got the onside kick. One last chance to try to send this one to overtime, but the Hail Mary attempt fails, and the Panthers win. 42 30 for the final. Kellyanne Stitz is in Chattanooga and has more on the Powell victory. Kellyanne? It was quite the scene on the sideline in the final seconds of the game when Pages McNair's pass in the end zone fell incomplete to put the game to bend for the Powell Panthers, earning them their first ever state title in program history. Celebrations, of course, ensued, including a water shower for head coach Matt Lowe, who helped guide the team in his third appearance in the state championship game to the program's first ever state title in football. A long time coming for Lowe and the Panthers. It's huge. It's what I've been chasing since, uh, since I was a freshman in high school. And so, you know, you know, I mean, that, that certainly set the stage then. And, you know, 2011, I got a small taste of it and then watched it disappear. And so, you know, to be able to come back 10 years later, it, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing to me and my family and, you know, something we'll never forget. And I'm so blessed to have this group of coaches and this group of players to share with. Junior quarterback Jordan Potts earned MVP after playing his best game of the season, completing 24 of his 30 passes for 324 yards and four touchdowns, all motivated by Coach Lowe. Oh, I feel amazing, but I really want to get this win for Coach Lowe because, you know, he's been at this for a while. So, and I knew in the back of my head that he's lost two. You know, I was like, there's no way I'm losing a third one for him. So I, I, we came out strong in the second half and scored on that first drive. The celebrations will now continue back at home in Knoxville as the Panthers bring with them the gold ball and earn themselves a ring, a sweet ending to a historic season. Reporting from Finley Stadium, Kellyanne Stitz, WATE Sports.